Hi there and thanks for joining us for this brief video tutorial on how to export your contact email addresses from QuickBooks. I'm using QuickBooks version Pro 2011. 2012, 2013 have a little bit different language which I'll point out to you as we go along. So let's start by opening QuickBooks. You should be here on the home screen. We're going to go over to reports. So you click on reports come down to customers and receivables then you get this drop down box where you can come down to customer contact list we'll choose that what you'll notice is there are no email addresses it's part of the default settings for your customer contact list to come up without email so the first thing we're going to want to do is modify the report you do that by clicking on modify report on later versions of QuickBooks it says customize or customize report so I'll click on that. You'll get a few tabs up here. Display is the first one. Let's leave customer checked. Let's uncheck all of these others that come checked by default. And when we get to email, we'll put a check mark there. Then we'll go over to header footer. We're going to change the name of this report to customer email list or whatever you want to call it. Click OK and you'll see that the report changes. Now we have a name and we have an email address. So that you don't have to repeat that every single time, we can either memorize or save the report. The name that you've chosen will populate. I like to group all my reports together, so I'll save and memorize report group customers. You don't have to do that. Click OK, and now our report has been saved. Now we need to get it from apologize for that. Now we'll have to get it from QuickBooks to Excel and in the older versions of QuickBooks it's called Export in the newer versions it's called Excel. So we'll click on Export. It'll give us a little dialog box where we can choose what we're exporting it to and I would suggest a new Excel workbook. Click Export and you'll get a spreadsheet that's generated. You could save this if you want to, um, but it has customer names and email addresses. One of the first things we want to do here is remove any duplicates. And the way you do that is by simply clicking in a cell in that column that has the emails. Go up here and click on your tab that says data. And then there's a very nice feature called remove duplicates. You click on that. Everything should be populated by default. And you click OK. If there were duplicates there, it would find it and remove it. Why would there be duplicates? Well, if you treat families and you use one of the parents' email addresses for the children, then you will have duplicates there. So I want to get rid of those. The next step is to simply highlight the emails. I suggest 50 at a time. And the reason for that is for most people using a web-based email provider like Google, Yahoo, or Gmail, sorry, Hotmail, they frown on spamming. And while you're certainly not spamming your friends, clients, patients, etc., a red flag for these web-based email providers is when an email goes out to a large number of people. 50 seems to keep you under the radar. The other thing to mention is that some of them have a limit to how many people you can email a message to in a day. Gmail is 500. If you exceed that, they'll suspend you for 24 hours. Yahoo and Hotmail, I believe, are lower. They may be around 100. Once you've highlighted the names, just copy them, and then you'll be able to go over to your email program and paste them into the BCC or Blind Carbon Copy field. And that wraps up how to export your contact emails from QuickBooks. The next video that I would direct you to would be the video that's specific for the email service you use. There are three sets up there. There's two videos for Gmail, two for Hotmail, and two for Yahoo. The first of each video series teaches you how to build an email list in each one. The second one walks you through how to forward your newsletter that you receive from us onto your own uh, patients and clients with that list that you're taught how to build. So thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day.